Hi, I'm Ms. Pack, and this is Ms. Brown, and this is our Science 6 Intro to Earth and Environmental Science class. Today, we are going to be doing a mini lab on watersheds. So we're going to go ahead, we are already in our groups, and we're going to go ahead and pass out our materials and our papers. I need one person per group to make sure we write everybody's name down, and we're going to read our instructions. Sound good? All right. Now, somebody that's not that person, come over, grab your materials. So one person per table, come grab your materials from Ms. Brown. I'm going to pass out your sheet. Careful. Oh. There y'all go. Um, there is a pencil in the box for you if you need it. There y'all go. There y'all go. Does everybody have in your bin? Do you have clay? A sponge? A cup of dirt? A cup of water? And do you have your tray, your black paint tray? Yeah. All right, perfect. So make sure we write all our names on the top. All right, we're gonna do two different experiments today. The first one, we are going to, I need you guys to prop up your paint tray. Ms. Ron, where's the other paint tray? Maybe I don't have it, here. Yep, this is a paint tray. We're going to prop up our paint tray on the side the edge of your bucket, so it looks like a ramp. Oh, I was like, I thought we had six. So it looks like a ramp, so prop it up on the side where the small part is on the edge. Perfect. You're gonna take out your clay out of the bag, and we are going to line the clay at the, right before it gets to the bottom. This is the clay. So take your clay, and we are going to take it out of the bag, we're going to roll it enough and stretch it out so you have clay lined all along this bottom part like this. Can everybody see that? Like that. So yours will be sitting propped up right before it hits the bucket at the bottom. Perfect. All right. All right. I see a thumbs up from three groups, four groups. What about y'all? Great. Perfect. Now we're going to take our sponge, and your sponge is going to be our wetland. Remember when we took our notes about wetlands, we are learning about why our wetlands are important today. So take your sponge and set it at the bottom in the base of your thing with the squishy part down. If you put this side down, it doesn't work as well. So not the rough side, squishy part, face down. So that side face down, yes. All right, now what we are gonna do, one person needs to hold the pan so it does not fall. The other person needs to slowly pour all of the water that we have down the ramp towards the wetland. Then we're gonna make our observations, see what happened. Yep, all of it. All right, what happened? Wait, floods a lot? Yeah. All right, so what conclusion did we draw? What conclusion did the wetland do? Brandon. It absorbed the water. And what happened, if, what do you think will happen if we removed it? If we didn't have the sponge at the bottom? Keontae, what do you think? Yeah, the water would just stay at the bottom and flood at the bottom. So we are going to test to see if we're correct. So. Take your sponge and your water that's in your bucket and dump it into the big bucket. So if you have 
So the paint tray you have, you're going to dump the excess water into it empty. Don't pour it on the dirt that's already in there. Please take everything out of the bucket first. Perfect. And then squeeze out your sponge into the bucket. Great. All right. One person I need to go refill your water. So if you have not gotten up yet, go refill your wa the water up to the 50 milliliter line. So now we're going to do the same exact experiment, but with no wetland at the bottom. So go ahead. If you have not had a chance to pour the water, make sure you give everybody a chance and pour our water and see what happens. See if we were correct. Yep, no sponge at the bottom. All right. Perfect. So what happened? Did it do what we said? What happened, Jaden? Yeah, it went in the bottom and there's nothing to soak it up. Perfect. Did everybody get that? That the water went down to the bottom and there's nothing to absorb it, so it's just flooding at the bottom. Yeah? All right. Perfect. Yeah, your prediction was that it would stay at the bottom, and your, if you said that, then your prediction was correct. Your hypothesis was correct. All right, last part of our experiment. We are going to, again, dump the water back into our bigger bucket. Somebody's got to, do you need a paper towel? Okay. Somebody has to go refill up to the 50 milliliter line again. This time we're going to add dirt to our experiment. Grab your cup of dirt and you are going to spread it out on top of the clay. On top of the clay, not in the bottom, on the top of the clay. On top of the clay, yes. All right, and we're going to place our wetland sponge back in the bottom. All right, now we are going to slowly pour our water from the top down to the bottom. Make sure somebody's holding it so it does not fall. There you go. Can I get the so do we see, other than what was already there, do we see any dirt coming out the back of the wetland? No. Where do we think the dirt went? I think it went inside the clay. Inside the sponge. Inside the sponge went in the wetland. So what What do we see happen? What's the wetland doing? Absorbing the dirt. It's filtering it out, right? Why wouldn't we want dirt in our water? Yeah, because it could be contaminated. We don't want to drink dirty water. So our wetlands are helping us stop that. What color is the water that's running out of your wetland? Pick up your wetland sponge and squeeze it over your bucket. Is that water clear or brown? Clear. Last person grab the water for our last experiment, final experiment. Same thing, but with no wetland at the bottom. We are going to do the same thing. Take, make sure your sponge is not at the bottom. Put your sponge in the, the clear bucket. And then you're going to pour the water and see what happens. And after it goes over the clay in the mountains. Great job.
So what happened? What happened to the bottom without our wetlands in place? Hold on, hold on. Turn it. The dirt went everywhere. It didn't stop in one place. Is the water the same color as it was before? No, it's brown and dirty. Great. So, how do you think, y'all, how do you think that the water affects fish? If we had all that muddy water, what would happen to our fish that are in that area? They would die. Why? They might get the dirt in their mouths and they won't be able to eat anything. What else? They might think it's food on accident and eat something they're not supposed to. Yeah? Could they do any? So you don't think the fish would live if we didn't have our wetlands? No. Okay. And how might this affect us? Why does that matter? We can't get food from out the, from out the water. Like seafood, crabs. Y yeah, fish, crabs, seafood, seafood, fish, and crabs. We could, we wouldn't have enough to eat. What would it do to our water? Could we drink it? No, we couldn't drink the water. What? Yeah, you don't want to get any diseases or stuff like that. So, do you think our wetlands are important? Yeah. Yeah. I hear a couple yeses. Do some people? We all think it's important. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Thank you for joining our class today. I hope you enjoyed our experiment on wetlands. Oh,